Congratulations, Mommy Yubi. You've passed the interview to become a Dao. Luckily for you, you will be trained by the best Do here. Me. <laughs> uh, sorry if that sounded a little too... cocky. I've gained a little confidence lately, thanks to a lovely customer a few weeks ago. Now, uh, where... where were we? Oh, yes, training. I'm going to be teaching you how to provide top quality service to our customers. From head scratches to kisses to wholesome services. Sounds like fun. I look forward to becoming a protege, mommy. So when does my training start? As soon as the next customer walks through that door- oh, oh my gosh, Bunny! You've returned! <laughs> um, Yubi, this is, uh, my very first customer. Oh, are you referring to the lovely customer you were talking about just before? The one who raised your confidence? Ah, uh, yes, uh... That's him. <laughs> hey, don't give me that face, bunny. Getting all full of yourself. <laughs> but yes, it is true. Ever since your first visit from a few weeks ago, my service and demeanor has improved by a lot. I mean, somehow, I was able to become employee of the month. The director even said at this rate, I might end up taking over the establishment. <laughs> oh, right. Um, this is Mommy Yubi. She's our new doe. Yubi here was found on the street by one of the other moms. Oh, the poor thing and her daughters were left to starve after. Uh, never mind that. It's not my story to tell. You're in a much better place now, aren't you, Yubi? Mm-hmm. I really am grateful to still be here. If it weren't for this place, I don't think I would have lasted another day out there. No, bunny. You came at the right time. You're going to be my training dummy for today. So, would you like to go to the premium borough? Or would you like the main area where everyone's eyes will be on you? As Ian and I have you on your knees, begging for a touch. <laughs> nice one, Yubi. Looks like you're having a great start. I don't know where that came from. I blurted it out so easily. Ah, uh, well, Bunny is a special one. Being around him just makes you want to dominate him, don't you think? <laughs> now, premium burrow again, I see. Well, you're strapped in for a good time. Now, by training, dummy. Well, you're being practiced on. I guess that part's already obvious. Consider it as... Advanced hands-on training. Since you're still paying for this session, primarily for me, if Yubi doesn't do a satisfactory job, you will receive a, let's say, 50% refund. Does that sound okay? Although, I'm sure Yubi will do more than just fine. 
In fact, it seems like she's caught your attention already. It's making me a little jealous. Alright, Mommy Yubi. Go over the menu with Bunny, hmm? Oh, yes. The menu. Uh. Oops. <laughs> one, one. Uh, here you go. The bakery menu. Unfortunately, the usual barista is sick today. So I'll just be having plain old water. I hope that's okay. But, um, the baked goods are delicious, I tell you. Let's see. This week we have hoppy seed muffins, banana bread, hopscotch scones, and hoppy cross buns. Lots of hops this week. My puny girl was running all low on inspiration lately. <clears throat> oh, right. How will it be? Mm -hmm. Great choice indeed, sir. I mean, Bunny, I'll go get it right away. You be wait. <sighs> I think she's a little nervous. Well, a little is an understatement. Don't worry, she'll start warming up in no time, like how I was to you. By the way, do you remember what we did in this room? Hmm? Kisses here and there. Some loving words. Some loving thigh squishes. <laughs> well, you're going to have plenty of it today, bunny boy. So much more. Which reminds me, she forgot to give you the custom menu. Did you want to take a look, or...? Oh. Oh, okay. I like the sound of that. Sure, we can do that. <laughs> I bought your own thing, Bunny, in your glass of water. I wasn't sure if you wanted it cold, so I bought a bowl of ice just in case. You have a walkie-talkie attached to your hip, sweetie. You could have just used it to ask me. Oh. <laughs> Moving on. We, or, well, our bunny has a fantastic idea for today's session. Go on, baby. Tell her. What? You want me to take the lead? I, uh... I don't think I can possibly do that. I mean, I just started today. Yubi, Yubi, calm down. Remember, I'm by your side. You're just deciding on what to do, and I'll guide you along the way. Last time, he said the exact same thing. Left it up to me to decide what to do. And I'm glad he did, because honestly, it unlocked a part of me I didn't know existed. So no need to worry. It may be a tough request, but you got this. I know you do. I am more than happy to take over if you ever feel like you need a break, okay? <sighs> Okay, thanks, Ian. Oh, do my best. How about we start off by sitting on a couch together, with um, Bunny, sitting in the middle. Mhm. Mm then uh, Ian and I will 
us at all, closer, kind of squeezing you in between us. <laughs> look at us. I look like can of sardines. <laughs> You're right. We really do. How's this, sweetie? Are you comfy? Yeah? Are you nervous sitting between two pretty mommies? You're looking extra adorable today. Did you get a new haircut? Comb your hair? Or... Use a different shampoo? Nothing? I see. So you're just a natural cutie. I'm envious. I have to put a lot of time and effort to look half as decent. While you just wake up, ready to make our hearts flutter. Mm-hmm. I'd even dare you to say you're the cutest guy I've ever seen. No one is as captivating as you are, Bunny. Meeting you might be a mistake. Oh, you didn't do anything wrong. But I just know, whenever I'm serving other customers, I'm just gonna be thinking about you. Would you like me to feed you? Yeah? Alrighty. I woke up a little piece for you, okay? Now open your mouth and say ah uh, for Mommy Yubi. <laughs> Goodbye. She's a natural, isn't she? A few minutes ago, she was going to melt into a puddle of anxiety. I can hear you, you know. It's just as you said. Being around him brings out a dominant, nurturing side. He's just so sweet. Open up again. Ah, uh, another bite. Well done. Doesn't hurt to be babied every now and then, hmm? To older women, pampering you with love. Hmm? Did you want to ask me something? My story? A little more about your situation. How you ended up here. I opened up about mine, and it was pretty comforting to tell someone about it. You don't have to if you're not comfortable, of course. Uh, well, I'm a roller coaster so you don't miss a single word. No, on to my backstory. As Ian mentioned earlier, another dog rescued my daughter and I on the streets. We got kicked out from my rental and had nowhere to go. No relatives or friends. The only person I knew here was my part- I mean, late partner. And it gets even sadder. We were sent on a long business trip to the other side of the world. For your smacks. Communication got spottier the more time passed. And my younger one started resenting them for causing me so much pain. The fifth year came, and they stole an arrive home. Turns out they got into a serious accident one year in, and I wasn't notified about it. I was devastated. There were so few jobs I could take while I was taking care of my kids. And then... I just couldn't keep it up anymore. Ever since I started working at Dell's, your mommy, I felt a part of myself healing. I have time to find myself again, without worrying about taking care of my kids 24-7. I was finally able to mourn my late partner and gradually move on with stability. Just like Ian. 
I decided to become someone people could rely on for comfort. The burden of their day. Because of their support and love is what keeps me going through tough times. Just like how you came in today. Happily agreeing to be taken care of by the both of us. Oh, don't feel too sad, bunny. Yubi's telling you how much better she feels. Especially with you here. <sighs> We're going to run out of time again if we keep this up. Would you like to order anything else from the custom menu? Oh? You'd like to try the BLT again? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Now that you have two doughs, you'll be getting double the thighs. B. O. T. Should I go fetch Bunny a sandwich? No, silly. Here, B. O. T. stands for Big Loving Thighs. Basically, we squish his head between them. Not until the point of passing out, but just enough squish to feel like everything's okay. And according to this one, <sighs> dying by thighs is the true way to go. But we won't be doing that, alright bunny? Now, let's have you kneeling on the floor, with your head leaning back towards Yubi, and your face facing towards me. We're going to give you the ultimate BLT. Sandwiched by Yubi's magnificent thighs, while you're being kissed all over by me. Is that all right with you, Yubi? Uh, of course. Do I, uh, sit like this? Mm-hmm. That's perfect. Just imagine you're crushing a watermelon. But not as hard. Oh, okay. Here goes. Is this all right? What do you think, Bunny? Are you feeling the squish? Hmm, seems like he wants more. Not yet though. You'll have to earn it. <laughs> how about you try to count how many kisses I give you? Mm-hmm. An easy task indeed. Ready? Mm, one. Two. Mm, four. Mm, Eleven. Mm, three. Mm, nine. Hmm? What's wrong? Did you lose count already? No? Then how many kisses are we up to? Hmm, you're close, but not quite there. The correct answer is... Seven. <laughs> Cheating? What do you mean, cheating? All you had to do was count how many kisses you were given. Oh, seems like the thigh squish is slowly scrambling his brain. Mwah. Let's squeeze a little tighter now, shall we? Hey. That's kind of nice. 
like this, there's no way he could run away. How about you live the rest of your life between my legs? Uh, that's, um... Uh, right. <laughs> Ignore what I just said. Just enjoy mommy, Yumi's eyes, okay? Alright. Ready for more counting? Ready? One, two, two, sixteen, three, nine, seven, eleven, one, eighteen, twenty. <laughs> So, were you able to catch them all? Hmm, wrong again. The correct answer I was looking for was 11. I even gave you the answer. Too bad. Oh, I want to try. I want to see his cute face react to his chicas. Okay, okay. Ready? And... Sigh time. C close your eyes. Being this close to your face is making me a little nervous. Alright, here it comes. supposed to mess with you. <laughs> Let's do it again, shall we? One. Three. How many were you able to count? Wait, huh? How'd you get it? <laughs> I'll have to try a little harder. <laughs> Alright. How many kisses was that? <laughs> I, uh, don't even know if that's right. I must count. Oh dear. Alright, Yubi. You did great. A lot better than I expected, honestly. How about we wrap up the session by sandwiching him between both of our thighs? So, Bunny, Yubi and I will go back to sitting on the couch together like this. And you, Bunny, will stay on the floor and put your head between my right thigh and Yubi's left thigh. Like this. <laughs> Goodness, that smile you have on your face is the biggest smile I've ever seen from you. I don't think your fantasies could get any better than this, huh? And, uh, speaking of fantasies, is it okay if I could call you my good boy? 
Well, our good boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting to call you a good boy. I wasn't sure how to bring it up, but screw it. You deserve it. Good boy. Our good boy. The best boy we could ever ask for. No one else could make our day as joyful as you. Thank you for coming by again. I really appreciate it. Having a returning customer means we're doing something right. And if the customer is you, then I'd want to be even more perfect every time you visit. You deserve the best service and the best comfort. Um, Ian, I think he fell asleep. Wait, what? Since when? I could have sworn his eyes were open a few seconds ago. Yeah, it happened pretty fast. It was adorable, actually. Drifting off to sleep so easily. Because we make him feel safe. I'd say we did a job well done. And you did amazing for your first day. Can't wait to see you around more often. If you don't mind, would you like to have lunch together later? I know a perfect cafe with a playground. Our kids can get to know each other too. Oh my god, of course. That sounds like a ton of 